वेलकम टू बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन वी आर स्टडिंग लूप एनालिसिस एंड टुडे विल सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम वेन वी हैव अ करंट सोर्स इन अ लूप दिस इज अ स्पेशल सिचुएशन इफ वी हैव अ करंट सोर्स इन अ लूप वी डोंट राइट के वी एल इक्वेजन फॉर दैट लूप जस्ट राइट वी जस्ट एज्यूम द करंट टू बी करंट ऑफ दैट लूप टू बी इक्वल टू दैट ऑफ द करंट सोर्स हियर वी हैव एन एग्जाम्पल Where we have two loops, and in loop number one, we'll assume two currents, I one clockwise. I told in my earlier lecture that I one can either be clockwise, can either be assumed to be clockwise or counterclockwise. So uh, we assume it to be clockwise here, and I two is also clockwise. This is our assumption. so we don't need to write equation for loop number 1 for loop number 1 we have a current source having value 4 milliampere so we'll write i want to be 4 milliampere why positive why not negative because the direction of i1 our assumed current is the same as that of 4 milliampere current source therefore it's positive If it would be, if the directions would be opposite to each other, we would write I one equals I one is equal to minus four milliampere, right? So here they are on the same direction, therefore write I one is equal to four milliampere. So for loop number two, we need to write a KVL a KVL equation, right? So we have three components in loop number two: this four K resistor. 6k resistor and this 5 volt voltage source to write an equation we have to write the voltage drop across each of these three components let's consider this 4 kilo ohm resistor first 4 kilo ohm the voltage drop across 4 kilo ohm resistor is 4k times since there are two currents flowing through it i2 is going upwards i1 going downwards we are in loop number 2 we'll assume i2 to be the highest I two minus I one. So that voltage drop in this direction. Right. Then we have the six k resistor. So the only current flowing through this six k resistor is I two six k I two. And then this five volt source, since the current enters from the positive side of this five volt source, it will be considered as a voltage drop, and we'll write it positive. Plus five is equal to zero. So we know I one. So if we put I one here, we'll have one equation and one variable that can that we can solve easily. This is four k. I two minus four milli plus six k I two plus five is equal to zero. So multiplying this four k, this becomes four k I two minus four four zero sixteen, and we know that kilo when multiplied with milli becomes pound because kilo is ten to the three milli is ten to the minus three. Multiply the answer is a pound plus six k. I two plus five is equal to zero. So we have this six plus four ten k I two is minus sixteen. When on the other, when it goes to the other side of the equation, this becomes plus sixteen. This plus five becomes minus five. So we have eleven. I two is eleven over ten. Because one over k is a milli, so we have computed I two to be eleven over ten. We already know I one to be equal to four milli ampere. Right. Now we are asked to find voltage drop in this polarity across this six k resistor, and we call it V O, V sub O. V out. How do you compute it? Given I one and I two. So.
So we have I1 is equal to 4 million pair, I2 is equal to 11 over 10 million pairs. How to compute V out? V out is the voltage drop across 6K resistor in a direction so that the left side is positive, the right side is negative. When the current enters in this direction, when the current flows through the 6K resistor in this direction, it causes this polarity. The left end becomes positive, the right end becomes negative. So the current that enters the 6K resistor from the left side and least from its right side is I2. So according to Ohm's law, the voltage drop should be the resistance times the current flowing through it. V out is 6K times I2. And we know I2 is 11 over 10 milli. This kilo cancels in milli because 10 to the 3, 10 to the minus 3. 2 3s are 6, 2 5s are 10. So it becomes 33 over 5 volts. One other voltage that we want to find out is the cross this 4 million pair current source. We are asked to compute this voltage. Maybe let's call it V out 2. It's a 4 million pair current source. So, how would you find voltage drop across this current source? The current in this loop, of course, is 4 million pair. The current flowing through this branch is 4 million pair. But what's the voltage drop across it? For that, we cannot apply Ohm's law because we don't know its resistance. Its resistance is assumed to be very high. So, in order to find voltage drop across it, we have to write KVL equation for loop number one. Let's write this KVL equation. In loop number one, we have three components this 2K resistor, this 4 million pair current source, and this 4 kilo ohm resistor. Let's write KVL equation 2K times I1. The first term is 2K times I1. The voltage drop across this 2K resistor. Since we have to find out voltage drop in this direction, so this is plus V out 2. Because current enters from the positive side, its voltage drop. Plus 4K. How many currents are there? In through this uh, flow through this 4k resistor i1 going downwards i2 going upwards since we are in loop number one this is i1 minus i2 so we know i1 we know i2 let's put these values we know i1 we know i2 so we have only one, un one unknown in this equation that is v out 2 so let's put these values i1 is 4 so what is it 4 here, 4 milli, 2k times 4 milli, I1 minus I2, 4 milli minus 11 over 10 milli. So 4 twos are 8, plus 4k times 40, 40 minus and for the 40, 40 minus 11 is 29 over 10 is equal to 0. So this is 2 2s are 4, 2 5s are 10. So this is 8 plus V naught plus 9 2s are 18, 8 1 to the 5 58 over 5 is equal to 0. So solving this. Taking all these constant terms on the other side, the answer is minus 98 over 5. So this is the voltage drop across this 4 million pen current source. We will continue solving problems related to loop analysis with some special cases in our next lectures. Thank you.